So today we've come up to uh, northeastern Poland for the day. As you can see, we've got wonderful weather. You know, it's, it's only been raining a little bit. Um, we're taking something called a kwadka, uh, which is like a footpath or a kind of a causeway um, across the um, uh, Nalev uh, River and heading towards a place called Vanievo. And this particular thing, even though it's probably been rebuilt several times, uh, this causeway actually dates back uh, to the 15th century. And there was actually a castle around about the middle of here. And this was all built to basically oversee the river. And right now it's basically a nature reserve, a kind of a beauty spot here. So there's lots of grass uh, and wetlands and places to walk. And there are a few birds. We've seen some storks and we have um, some marsh harriers and some terns and all kinds of different things. So all in all, it's been a pleasant day. If the weather was better, it would have been nicer. And we're going to carry on our journey um, and get closer to Białystok. I'm going to leave you with a few views before we continue. So they call this area the Polish Amazon and one of the interesting features are these bridges that you need to cross in order to uh, to get by. So this is it's actually quite a short route from here to the village but these bridges certainly add to the complication and I was a bit surprised by that but it's fun. Um, so let's so continue. Next stop we took a drive to the town of Tkoczyn and this place is actually a, originates in the 11th century and in the 14th century it belonged to the the Duchy of Masovia and actually it was given over to Lithuania in 1425 not coming back to Poland until 1542 it is notable for containing one of the largest arsenals in Poland at the time and it was actually awarded to Hetman Stefan Czarnecki who was a nobleman slash general who fought bravely in the Swedish invasion of Poland and you'll find his statue in the town square. In 1705 the Order of the White Eagle was established by King Augustus II and this was one of the highest and oldest Polish orders. In 1795 it changes hands with Prussia, Poland, Russia. It was the, uh, the site of an insurgency against Russian rule later on and unfortunately then the massacre of the population by Captain Dmitriev, which was so severe he actually got in trouble but was ultimately fined by the Tsars. It was reintegrated to Poland in 1918 and it was occupied by the uh, the Soviets from 39 to 41 and Nazis from 41 to 50, uh, 44 and during that time the Jewish residents were taken to the Wupo Chovo forest uh, to be executed but when we were here it was actually a lovely place um, we stopped and uh, had some Lithuanian beer 
uh, in one of the, the kind of local cafes, uh, wandered around the streets, took in uh, the views of the, 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 the rather nice church they have there, and then we went off to the castle. Now, the castle of Tukocin was built in 1433 for the Lithuanian noble, and it was converted from the original wooden fortress. And it was a royal residence to Sigmund Augustus, and contained a very large library and treasury. Uh, sadly, in 1734, it was destroyed by a fire, and it wasn't actually rebuilt until 2002. Thank you for joining me on my uh, journey today. It was a nice little unexpected weekend trip over the, uh, the May Ufka or the May holiday. Hopefully soon, with restrictions easing, I'll be able to go and see more of Poland. So please stay tuned uh, for further videos. Thank you very much for watching.